Hey everyone, I got my 30 day chip of being clean and sober. I'm super excited about this. Um, I did it, we did it guys. Um, thank you all for the amazing support, uh, messages, prayers that you guys are sending me on a daily basis. It really continues to mean a lot to me. Um, I had an amazing week. Uh, well, two weeks since I posted the last video. Uh, my birthday was last Monday and uh, my parents came here, like I mentioned before in a post and uh, they were here for four days and uh, they helped me organize my apartment and my, and uh, and then they went and bought some stuff for it. So that was really nice. Even at 32, it feels awesome to get my mom to, uh, well, to have my mom clean for me. Uh, it's not that I expect it, but I just, uh, I mean, it brings her pleasure doing that. So that was that was really nice having, having my parents here. Um, and if you would have told me that I'd be in this place, in this situation right now, even a few months ago, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have believed it. Um, in Portland, I was under constant scrutiny from, from people that I love, I love the most. Um, nothing I, I could ever do was good enough um, for the people that were the closest to me. Uh, they never let me forget who the fuck I am, um, in a bad way, I guess. Um, always being told daily that I'm just, um, I'm just, by the way, guys, I got a bunch of notes here, so, so forgive me for, for reading, but I got a lot of information that I want that I want to say from my heart. So, uh, I was always being told on a daily basis uh, that I'm just an addict, that I chose to be this way, and I was treated like I was a broken person by the people that I thought loved me and and, uh, and cared for me. I mean, who the fuck would choose to be this way? You know, fighting an addiction is an hour by hour struggle, guys. Um, no one would choose to be this way to live this kind of a life uh it's just because you, you have to the fucking addiction it has a hold of you and it just doesn't let go um moving to florida was the best decision that i i could have made because of uh getting away because i got away from the triggers and because you know by getting away from the triggers guys i was able to get away from those people that constantly lowered my self-confidence my self-esteem and that on its own has been has been freaking amazing um, and it's helped me grow into the man that I'm that I'm becoming I guess um, you know how empowering it is to not give a fuck what about what anyone thinks about me I, I love that um, I was surrounded by people who constantly whisper behind my back pretended to support me pretended that they liked me but fuck them it, it, now thinking back about all this shit it <laughs> dude fuck everyone that that that's pretending to shit and it's whispering behind my back. Um, now I'm surrounded, surrounded by all of you guys, um, all of you who see the real me. I'm surrounded by people who, who don't judge me, who tell me that I'm a good man. There's been so many texts, private messages from people that I either know quite a bit from experiences or know just a little bit from a few experiences or don't really know at all that are telling me that I'm a good man, that I deserve happiness, that. That, that, that you know that I'm a good person I guess and I feel like it's God reaching out to me through all of you guys uh, messages and, and you know comments and contacting me and stuff so um, the best thing that has happened over the last 30 days is that I learned to really love and, uh, and care for myself uh, I realized that I'm, I'm a strong kind giving person and that I deserve to be happy really um, don't let any of the fuckers in your life uh, take away your happiness. I know we all have our own shit to deal with, but and it's hard. But don't don't let others, you know, tell you if you should be happy or not. You know, uh, I'm living proof that you can hit rock bottom and survive. I mean, we're all, you know, if it doesn't kill you, it's gonna make you stronger, no matter what it is. Um, and it's not not just to survive. It's a, you know, I'm living proof that you can you can fucking flourish. I've gotten uh, four clients this week. And the life has been amazing. Um, I had an amazing birthday. I'm going to my meetings. I'm reading my AA book, which I love. And my sponsor and friend from Portland also sent me the NA book, which I haven't gotten to yet, but I will as soon as I finish my, uh, my AA book here. Um, also, my friend Randy, who I respect a lot. For, he's from Portland, my friend Randy from Portland. Uh, he's a man that I respect a lot and he's like a mentor to me. Uh, he was coming going through florida on a vacation and uh he stopped by hollywood florida and uh invited me to dinner so that that was amazing thank you thank you randy for that uh that's what my life's life's becoming now it's the important things are relationships really at this point in my life i enjoy being myself around people 
who build me up instead of tear me down. Getting rid of all the haters in my life really uh, does impact it in a great way. I had loving and wonderful people in my life in Portland, but the ones that made it a daily mission to uh, tear me down were the ones that I listened to the most, unfortunately. And because I was torn down, I didn't set it up. Uh, because I was so torn down from those, those people that I, the negative people in my life that I listened to, I said, um, I said a lot of stupid shit to the people that were good to me. And uh, I fucking hate that I did that. I'm not that guy. Um, I plan on making it up to the people who were collateral damage from my, from my addiction. Um, I plan on racing and forgetting the memories of all the people who were my triggers, all the, the negative people that I thought cared for me. Um, and yeah, you guys have uh, taught me so much this last few weeks and last month, really. Uh, I've had messages from uh, messages that really changed my way of thinking about life. Sometimes from uh, complete strangers. And I've read and cur am currently reading a lot of the books that you guys have suggested. So thank you for that. Um, I've been praying daily, uh, calling my parents every morning to pray. Um, we do that all to together with my, my dad and my mom. Um, God is such a huge part of my, of my life right now. And, uh, and this is what my parents got me. This is, uh, this, I think it's Hail Mary and I don't really know what this is, but it's something religious, it's Christian Orthodox. I need to ask my mom what it is. So, but yeah, I just, I, I look at this every, every morning when I pray. So, and, uh, and I mentioned I got my 30 day chip. I mean, this, this to me means the world. This is the, the second longest streak that I've gone without alcohol or drugs, uh, in the last few years. So I'm super, super proud of that. Um, and, uh, I want to challenge each and every one of you guys, um, uh, this week, basically tell me something in the comments below that you're proud of yourself for. So just write a message or a comment about something that you're proud of, yeah, no matter how small it is, but just, just write something that you're proud of. Um, guys, I really want to, want to hear from everyone. Um, well, from, from those that are willing to spend a few minutes out of their day to write me, I guess, because it's all appreciated, guys. It just, it gives me so much strength. But um, yeah, so you guys deserve to be proud of yourself. You know, like I said, no matter how small it is, just something, something, just write a message or, or you know, a comment of something that you're proud of. Um, it's a measure of your self-worth, guys, and I wanna hear about it. Uh, so yeah, I'm challenging, you know, you guys to just write something that, that you're proud of. Uh, you're all amazing. Uh, thank you for the love and support. God bless everyone. Peace out.